Okay, good morning everyone. I am taking you on a day in the life of Amory as a horse trainer. See what I do on an average day. First things first, we've got to get everyone fed. Okay, this is Maverick. He's our older guy, and he's the only one to get some special feet. So he's pretty much free fed grass. And then I will show you what we feed him special. So he gets pellets, and just easier for him to digest. These are alfalfa Bermuda mix pellets. And then we're also giving him a little bit of rice bran to help him put some weight on. He's looking so much better. It's definitely done its job. Okay, I mix this up a little bit, and then there's one other special thing I do. I've been putting some water in it to kind of soak it, and that just makes it even easier to digest for him. Okay, so I just leave that while I go and feed the rest of the horses. Okay, so that's it for our horses. In case anyone's wondering, these smaller bales were a gift from a neighbor. That is a very nice gift. But he grew this grass hay and he brought some down and gave us some of those. So we're feeding those up. But I also threw in some of our usual hay, which is teff. And so that's, I split it up and I gave everyone kind of half and half of that. And then for the three Tennessee walkers, uh, this gal keeps her hay in her trailer here.
Okay, let's go put this wheelbarrow up and then I'm gonna hop on my one wheel. We gotta feed Maverick, he's been patiently waiting, and then I gotta go feed the steers. It might look a little bare around here, we're missing some trucks and trailers, and that is because Cisco took off pretty early this morning to go help a friend slash neighbor in Wickenburg go move and look for some of his cows. So I don't actually usually do all these chores by myself. This would be what a day in the life of Amory would look like if she was all by herself. Okay, so got Maverick's feet. See all that water soaked up just kind of makes these super soft. So it's easier for him to digest. And he's been patiently waiting for this. Okay, Maverick's got his food. We kind of stick it inside here just so there's no waste. He can clean it up out of there. And he's a super nice boy. He's definitely getting weight on him. Okay, now for the steers. I can hear them crying for me. Go feed them. Where'd it go? These guys have to be in their own little special pen because they're escape artists. are fed now let's go get ready okay I actually changed my mind I want to clean pens while everyone's in the heart of eating so that they are leaving so that they are leaving me alone so let's clean pens first Okay, we're on the last stall. Nelly, why did you poop where you eat and move all around in it? Let's get this cleaned up. Okay, that's better. Okay, now we're done with morning chores, and now it's time for me to go get myself ready. So Milo always has food. We'll just keep his food bowl filled. I am going to give him a treat this morning. Should we show him some of your tricks? Come here. Sit. Shake. Good boy. Have a shake? Oh, good boy. Lay down. Oh, you play dead. Good job. <laughs> okay, I've got myself all ready for the day. I'm going to make some breakfast. And while I do that, I'm going to hop on my computer and do some YouTube things. I love responding to everyone's comments. So leave me a comment. I will get back to you. Alright, 
We are all done in the camper now. I got some computer work done. I uploaded a few YouTube shorts and then got to respond to some comments. Now that we are all done with that, we can get to my favorite part and let's go ride some horses. First on my list today is Roxy. Let's go get her and then I need to put some more rides on Roxy. So Roxy and all these guys, they're, they're pretty much done eating, but I like to check and just see if there is a little bit of food left over. Yeah, see she's got plenty of food left. I like this personally because horses are animals in the wild that eat all day. They're grazers, that's the word I was looking for. So they're grazing animals. So personally, I like when I can see a little bit of food in the buckets all throughout the day. Of course, you want them to clean it up and you don't want them to waste any. But it's nice when they have some food left over. Okay, I've got Roxy saddled. We are gonna do some riding in the arena today. Just working on her to be nice and soft, give to pressure, follow her nose, and just get some more good rides under her belt before she goes home to her owner at the end of the week. done with Miss Roxy. She did super good today. Just get more rides under her belt. I'm gonna get her unsaddled and put away and then it is lunchtime and I have a special place to take you guys for lunch. All right, me and Milo are in the car driving to this special place. It doesn't actually have real lunch. It's called Taco Tuesday, but no, they don't sell tacos. And yes, I was also very confused when I first heard about this. But I get so excited to go. It happens every Tuesday, so I can't miss out. I gotta run in and grab some things there. I don't want to spoil it for you, so just come along. I'll show you in just a few seconds, and let's see what Taco Tuesday is all about. This is Taco Tuesday. It's basically a big flea market. I come for the fruits and veggies. They're here every Tuesday, but I saw some other stuff, so let's go walk around and check it out. This is my favorite part. All the veggies, fruits and veggies. Okay, so that is Taco Tuesday. I'm gonna show you everything I got. 
for $24. Got lettuce, potatoes, bell peppers, green onions, celery, two broccolis, zucchini, limes, lemons. I got so much stuff. I think that is so worth it. I love it. And my favorite part, I got a loaf today. This is my lunch today. But I love Taco Tuesday, so it's actually just like a flea market that happens in Aguila. And where we live, we're not super far from Aguila, so we come here. All these fruits and veggies have always been fresher than I can find at a grocery store. And they like sell clothes, tack, just random things too. So I love Taco Tuesday. If you are ever passing through Aguila or near Aguila, definitely stop by. It's awesome. All right, we had a good lunch break, and now we are back being outside we've got some more horses to work so I need to get the three yearlings and do something with them I have all the yearlings caught and what's really good for these guys at this stage is to learn patience and so I am going to tie up all three of them and just work with them one at a time but it's really good for them to stand tied while I'm working with the other ones so they can learn patience in the meantime and because these guys have grown up together. Shorty, I'm not doing anything with you. And stop being mean. These guys grew up together and so they are pretty, they like each other a lot, which is okay. That's not a bad thing. But as a horse individually, a horse needs to learn to be okay by themselves, not with their friends. So I'm gonna tie them up where they can't see each other while I work with the other one. Okay, so I've got everyone tied in different spots. Uh, Carrot Cake and Blue Jean are back there, purposely so that they can't see Hank or each other, so that they just have to spend some time alone. But we're gonna do some groundwork with Hank first. Okay, we're all done with Hank, and while I was working Hank, Cisco got back, so he's working with Nelly right now. Hank gotta take a leak. We'll do Blue Jean next. Off to work, Blue Jean. All done with Blue Jean. She's got one left. Let's go get carrot cake. Okay, carrot cake, it's your turn. Isn't she beautiful? We are all done with carrot cake. The yearlings did great. I didn't show any of their progress because I'm gonna make a separate video specifically for all the progress they have made, everything I've done with them. I gotta put these guys up and then help Cisco feed. He's already started and Cisco's already cleaned pens, so. Yay! Chores tonight are going to be simple. Okay, everyone is fed. Chores are done. Now it's time to go inside and feed ourselves and do some other things. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life of myself coming along today. I am just going to spend the rest of the night doing some editing on my laptop, putting together this video. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and have a good night. Mm -hmm.